Well, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we're taking this opportunity to take a closer look at what we can do to support the cause. Last week, we discussed what doctors can do. Surgeon and scientist Dr. Raul John Diel back uh, with a look at the past, present, and future of battling uh, this cancer and winning the fight. Welcome back. Thank you. Good morning. I, I, I want to go back to something. We've kind of touched on this before, but mammograms, and I still think there's some confusion out there because of the guidance that came out about when women should get mammograms, mm -hmm. should they get mammograms, what's the answer? The medical community is still recommending mammograms at 40. Even though we are starting to look at them more carefully and ask, are women living longer because they're getting mammograms? Partially, yes. The other reason is let's not forget that they've come up with fantastic medicines so when you have cancer and it spreads that they can treat that and women are long, living longer for both reasons. So mammograms are important, but they're not the whole cancer story as far as why women are living longer. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to treatment specifically, is it getting better and better? It is. Chemotherapy and that sort Yeah, of it is. Let's take surgery for example. A hundred years ago, the first cancer surgery was removing both breasts, the muscles underneath, and the lymph nodes in both armpits, and that made women live longer. Now we're down to a lumpectomy through a small incision, and now they're looking at the antennae on top of the tumors to figure out, I think we can watch this one and not even cut it out and treat it with just radiation and chemotherapy. So we are not just tailoring it now to this type of cancer or that type of cancer. We're actually personalizing it, trying to find within each individual woman what's the right treatment for this mm -hmm. person, and, and not too much over-treatment. And, and specifically about chemotherapy, is that as painful and as difficult as it, as it has always been? It, you know, people always think of it synonymous as you lose your hair, you feel horrible. Some of the stronger chemotherapeutics still have those side effects. Mm. Not everybody gets those side effects. And now the chemotherapy regimens are so broad depending on the stage you're at and the type of breast cancer you have. Mm -hmm. Breast cancer is not one disease, it's multiple diseases. Mm. Right. And then they can be at multiple stages. So there's a lot more fine tuning. It's important to go to your doctor with hope and not as much fear that people had from okay. decades ago. Is there a chance that cancer at some point overall is we're going to be able to just fight it completely? We're going <laughs> to defeat it? Well, this is a good question. So when I'm at work or if I do some talks for people, they ask the question. So we, we give fancy facts and we give information, but a lot of times somebody older in the audience will ask me, I had an old lady just ask me, well, doc, can we beat it? And I thought, well, this is, a, this is a very simple question, but it's also a very insightful one. And my answer to her and the same one I'll share with you now is, I think we have to pull back for 100 years. In the early 1900s in New York, because of all the overcrowding, everybody was dying from infection, infection, infection. And then they came up with penicillin. Fast forward a couple of decades, you see FDR in a wheelchair. Now it's a virus. It's polio. We're never going to stop a virus. Salt vaccine. We've almost gotten rid of it. Mm -hmm. and my generation, our generation, AIDS. I just saw a statistic that somebody with AIDS now at age 20 can still expect to live another 40 years with the medicines they have. Wow. So I think cancer can be beat, but it's going to take a sort of a multiple decade perspective, not just this year and last year. All right. Well, we appreciate all the work that you are doing in the field. Thanks, Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. uh, for more on this, and other medical topics, go to ktla.com slash Dr. John Deal.